Welcome to MG Dorfers, guys. Here we believe in the quality of our stock, not the quantity of them. My name is Marina, and these are my sheep. Welcome to my business. Good morning, guys. And welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute since I have talked to you guys since um, I don't even remember the last vlog I did. But today we are going to be putting the weaning lambs back in with their normal groups. We've been weaning for about a month, so I think we're good enough that we can um, put everybody back together. Um, Let's see, we're gonna have the two mamas, which is Beauty and Scarlet, um, which is all that's left, and then Lady. Um, and then the two ewe lambs that will be sold soon, hopefully, because um, we're going to Reno not next week, but the week after. So I wanna make sure everybody's healthy. I'm really, really trying to feed my mama group a lot more because Beauty just got done having a baby. So I want her to fatten up and gain her weight back before we go to the show show she's not a skinny sheep um i know there is a lot of ewes there that have had babies but since she just got done having babies i do want her to kind of gain a little more weight you can see they're right behind me right here's beauty right here so i'm bringing her to the show we're gonna have four animals we're bringing this year i'm bringing her i'm bringing hulk my breeding ram and my ram lamb and then i'm also bringing lady so we've got a good group um so today I'm going to be kind of prepping the feeders, putting everything back in the pens, and then tonight we'll split everybody up and get them ready to, to go. And then um, we'll try and feed them a little bit more, my groups that are having my show animals with them. So we'll feed them a little more to gain them some weight and get them ready to be shown. And then next week we're going to be shearing, so stay tuned for that. So that's going to be quite a mess. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. Uh, I have somewhere to be right now, so I'm gonna be back. I just wanted to do the intro so I don't forget, um, and before I get all gross. So, I'll see you guys when I get back, and then we'll continue the vlog. But it's just gonna be like a quick snap. For me, it's gonna be a few hours. I'll see you guys soon. You cute. What? You're so sweet. Hello guys, I am back and it is hot out. It is so hot. It was raining last week and now it's hot again. Uh, okay, I'm back at the barn. Um, I'm just gonna set up my filming camera since I'm not using my filming camera right now, which is what you guys are on. Um, but I'm gonna set up my filming camera and my tripod and then I'm probably gonna head up to the pens and set up the sh sh sorting system. All right have my camera set up. I usually use my GoPro for my action shots and then I use this camera for the filming because it's way easier. Um, so we're gonna be putting everybody back together, sorting through lambs. Uh, we're gonna put the rams in with the adult rams and then we're gonna put the little ewe lambs in with the adult ewe mamas. Uh, I'm also going to be taking Lady out of breeding because she was in breeding with Hulky while we were weaning. So we had a whole bunch of stuff going on while we were weaning um, and breeding. So it was a mixture of everything. So today, we're going to be putting everybody back together. We've got Lammies. Hi! They have grown up so nicely. Super impressed with how they, how they look. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna set up this system. It makes sorting a whole lot easier uh, rather than catching lambs because that is such a pain, especially how big they are. So we're gonna try this. I've never done this before because this is the first time I've had these panels and we'll see how this goes. I don't really need you guys' help. Sorry. All right guys, so we're gonna get started. Behind me, I have my panels that we're gonna be using. So I'm just gonna grab these and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna set this up. All right, put y'all right here. Probably out of the sun would be best.
last night I had a dream of us coming together Last night In my dream I saw unity I had I had a taste of democracy And I felt I felt safe East to the west and south to the north People were living in peace Seeing the eyes of justice Everywhere Alright guys, so I have behind me What will be a sorting system Let me show you so I have, I do not have very many panels because these panels are from Premiere and they are super expensive. So um, I have kind of a bit of a panel system. It'll work. It's not the greatest, but it'll work. Um, we're gonna have everybody in here, whichever group I have in here first. Um, you lambs, uh, I'm still deciding on who I want this way and who I want that way, but uh, one group will go in the other group go out if you guys it'll it'll make sense once I once I start doing it but this is what I'm gonna do for now hopefully it works I don't even know anymore um but we're gonna try it um and hopefully it goes okay um so we're gonna have let's see we're gonna have six animals in one pen and then we're gonna have Five. We're gonna have six in each pen, I think. Let's count. Let's see, Lady, Beauty, Scarlet, two you lambs, and then I'm gonna put a ram lamb, my showing ram lamb in with them because this group, this you group, is gonna be on pasture, so I want the ram lamb to be on nice green grass too. So I'm putting him in with them. And then for my other group, which is gonna be the rams, is going to be Hulk, um, triplets, Ram lamb. So five. Okay. That'll do. Hello, chicken. I don't know if you can hear her squawking in the background, but she is very loud. So this is what we're going to do. This is going to be the system. Um, it's, I don't know, it's like 340. It's getting kind of late, so I might start splitting everybody up soon. Uh, I'm just going to kind of figure out my feeding situation. Are you done? I'll see you guys later. Because I don't know how long this is going to take. Alright, I'm going to get these lambs in. Even though you wouldn't do the same 
that was a lot of work. All I have left now is to bring the mamas in. I will put you guys right there. So you guys can see that. All right, that is the end of weaning. Um, I just have to feed these guys and then I need to catch that ram lamb because I didn't, I didn't, I forgot to sort him and put him in here with these guys, but I just got to catch him and put him in with this group. And then I got to feed. It's really, really hot. Okay. Okay. Everybody's just getting reacquainted. They're smelling each other because they they've been a long, they've been apart for so long they've probably forgotten who they are. Hi. <laughs> and then Hulk is with his sons and champions. Sons. So this ram lamb right here, that's the one I'm going to be putting in the group next door. Huh. So as I'm standing here, I'm watching to make sure that they're not mean, but aggressive since they're rams. So I want to make sure this isn't going to be a problem and I won't have any rams that end up hurt. So, and I am seeing a little bit of head butting. The ewes are head butting. No, 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 no. I think they're just getting acquainted. I'm, I might actually open this ram pen up and let them have this whole field um, for an hour or more so, just so they can get acquainted and not be in a tiny space. The ewes back here are having a little bit of a headbutt. Beauty is asserting herself as the leader to the other ewe that was in breeding. So you can kind of see that lady, because she was with Hulk, she asserted herself as the leader. So now they're just kind of having a headbutt. Ladies, come on, you've been together for a while. Really? Is that necessary? Meanwhile, the two ewe lambs in the pen are just chilling in the corner. It's so funny to watch. They aren't hurting each other. They're just saying who's in charge. Normal sheep behavior. Guys, it's too hot for that. Come on. And Lady is supposedly supposed to be pregnant again. Seriously? Is that necessary, guys? I'm gonna go grab the wheelbarrow and then I'm going to catch that ram lamb and throw him in this, this pen. Um, and then probably open up the ram pen just so they can kind of get acquainted. Since those rams are so small, I don't really want any aggression going on. Um, which there is a little bit. And the ewes are just kind of headbutting two liters. Uh, I'm just gonna go grab the food. I'll see you guys soon. All done with feeding. 
it is really hot. I'm just gonna open up the ram pen here. They can walk around a little bit. Uh, I just gotta grab, catch that ram lamb. I don't have a halter up here. <sighs> Looks like more wrestling sheep. Just want you guys in the shade. It's now Hulky and his little rams. <laughs> that lamb that just came out, that was the big ram's brother. That's the one I'm bringing. It was over here. Um, can you tell I'm sweating? It's really hot. Okay. Um, Everybody is done. Everybody is fed. Ram Lim just tried to nurse off mom, but mom didn't let him, so that was so good. She's smelling him right now. Here, why don't I just show you? She's smelling him right now because she knows that's her lamb. Hopefully she realizes that he's old enough to be eating solids and does not need that milk. That's just funny to me though. I thought I'd talk to you guys a bit about what I'm doing here. Um, this group on my far side, this is my ram group. So I have my breeding ram hulk that I'm going to be showing. And then I have all the ram lambs that were born from this group. Um, and then my group to this side is all my both of my lactating mama ewes that were weaning. That's why they're so skinny. Is I have two of them. I have Scarlet and Beauty. In there and then i have lady she was the one that lost her lamb earlier this year um both of her lambs and then uh, i rebred her this year and she was breeding to hulk while we were weaning so then i took her out and then they're all back together 
I then have Scarlett's two ewe lambs that were weaning with this rest of this ram group, and I put them with the ewes. Um, the reason I'm not putting them in with my ram group is obviously you probably know the ram, the older ram is gonna pick up on the ewe scent, and because he's so heavy and the ewe lambs are so small, he can try to mount them and possibly injure them. I have experienced that before. I had. Uh, actually, Scarlett, when she was born, my first group, um, she had gotten in with the Rams, and the Ram had mounted her. It was actually her dad mounted her. She was still like young, like these guys' age, so she couldn't get pregnant. But um, he was so heavy that she he could have definitely hurt her if I wasn't there um, to catch her. Plus, I also had I got headbutted that day too. <laughs> so that's why we have the Ram group, and then the U group, and then the extra lamb that's in with the U's is the ram lamb I'm showing. The ewe group is gonna be on grass because I'm trying to get them their weight back. So that's why my mamas are on grass out there rather than the rams um, since they're lactating and they still need that, that good fiber to help build up their weight for the show. Since I have two ewes in here that are gonna be showing, I put the ram lamb in with them um, um, just so he can also get grass because I want him to kind of build up a little bit more muscle these last few weeks before the show. So that is my groups. <sighs> I'm gonna leave, I have the door open for the rams. I'm gonna leave that open just so they can kind of go out and maybe to kind of have a pecking order. So I'll leave that door open for an hour or more or so. I'm gonna go take care of the rest of my animals. I gotta go bring Brumby in and feed him. So I'm going to do that and I think that includes the rest of, what is this, the spring 23 group lambs and weaning. Now we're just going to cross our fingers that nothing else happens because this weaning group has been a total disaster. There has been lambs getting in with the mamas, there have been lambs escaping, there, it's just been so crazy. I just need to make a whole vlog explaining this year's weaning lambing situation because I hope this is not going to be a yearly thing because I do not want to do this again. Beginning of the year I was so excited, I was counting down the days until we had lambs on the ground, now I'm counting down the days until we don't. Because <laughs> it's just too much work. Anyway, thank you guys for watching so much and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!